so let's start by reading the problem and then moving on to what could be the logic for this code and then the solutions so you have a long flower bed in which some of the plots are planted and some are not how flowers cannot be planted in adjacent plots given an integer flower bed containing zeros and ones where zero means empty one means not empty and an integer n return if n flowers can be planted in the flower bed without violating the no adjacent flowers rule so basically flower bed is a vector that is 10001 and n is 1 that means you have to plant only one flower and here you can plant right see uh, moving on from the starting of the array let's see see starting array already the first flower is planted moving on to the next element you cannot plant a flower here because uh, left to it is 1 so left to it should be 0 so left and right to that element should be 0 and that element itself should be 0 then we can plant a flower there but left condition is not being satisfied so you cannot plant a flower here moving on to next now here this is also 0 left to it is also 0 right to it is also 0 so you can plant a flower here so basically uh, you can plant one flower and they require us to plant only one flower so yeah this condition satisfied that's why we should return true moving to the next example so uh, the same vector they have given and they have said n is 2 that means you can plant two flowers or not they are asking so in between you can plant one flower as already seen it's the same vector but you cannot plant one another so after this thing becomes one you cannot go ahead and uh, plant another flower right so moving on to the next element you cannot because left to it will be one and right to it will also be one and moving on to last element already it is filled it's not empty so you cannot plant a flower so that's why we have to return for false so basically this is the question let's move to the logic of the code so let's go over the logic of this with some example so let me just write some random example to explain to you the logic so let's see where we can plant the flower so here we can uh, plant the flower or not so yes we can plant the flower in the first position because see adjacent to it uh, zero is there that means adjacent to it uh, there is space that is empty space so you can plant a flower here okay so this is one position where we can plant a flower so i'll mark it in red now coming uh, so now i have planted a flower here now this position will turn one now coming to next position coming to the second position can we plant a flower here we cannot uh, because see here it is zero so uh, this place is empty but uh, we cannot plant a flower here because see already one is filled i mean the left side is already filled right side is also filled so it is given in the question that if adjacent two places are empty then only you can plant a flower so you cannot plant a flower in this position so in this position you cannot plant it will remain uh, zero now coming to next position in this already flower is there so already it is one so you can uh, not plant a flower again already it is one moving to next so in this position can we plant a flower we cannot because see this position is not empty right so the right position is empty right position is giving way but left position is not empty so left position is not giving way to plant the flower so that's why you cannot plant a flower in this position moving on to the next position so here we can plant a flower right we can plant because these two positions are empty so so we can plant a flower in the middle position so middle position i'll erase and make it one that means flower is planted moving to next position so here we cannot plant a flower again because uh, adjacent to it positions are not empty right so now moving ahead here again flower is already planted here also it's already planted and um, here uh, the adjacent position is not empty right so here already flower is there so you cannot plant a flower here moving ahead here you can plant a flower right because this position is going to be uh, empty so here you can plant a flower so i'll just turn that this position we can plant a flower so i'll turn this to one so basically this is the logic of our code we have to just iterate through the entire array and we have to check if adjacent positions are empty or not hi so let's start writing the code so the first part of code will be iterating through the vector so i'll just iterate through the vector so i have declared a for loop that starts iterating now the first step will be to check if flower bed of i is equal equal to zero that means if the space is empty because if it's not empty there is no meaning right so if it is empty then what condition i'll have to check i'll have to check if the previous and next element of it 
are also empty or not so in case previous and next element to it are also empty that means they are also zero then uh, we can plant a flower there so for previous i'll have to give so let me give condition if flower bed of i minus 1 that is a previous element if that is equal equal to 0 then previous is 0 otherwise previous is 1 so similarly let me give condition for next flower bed of i plus 1 equal equal to 0 then next element becomes 0 otherwise next is 1 so now i'll have to check if previous is equal equal to 0 and next is equal equal to 0 that means if previous is 0 and next is 0 then in that case I'll have to increment my count variable and then I'll have to check if my count is greater than n at any point of time that means if the number of flowers that we are looking to plant that has become greater uh, you know space is available enough space is available then we can just return true so in that case the number of flowers that we were looking to plant is n and count is a space that is available if the space available becomes greater than the number of flowers we are looking to plant then we can return true otherwise we can return false now i have not declared count variable so i'll quickly declare count and initialize it to zero so that it starts counting from zero okay now in this case there's going to be one error so let's quickly spot the error see what happens is i is zero right now this will go out of bounds flower bed of i minus one will go out of bounds and also in the last element also it will go out of bounds because i plus one cannot be uh, available for the last element so now you see in the first and last element what is the trick is first and last element there is no previous uh, or next that is for the first element there's no previous for the last element there's going to be no next so what we are going to do is for the first element, so in case i is equal equal to 0, anyway previous is 0, right? That, that doesn't exist a previous, so it doesn't anyway cause an hindrance, right? So for the first element, just think and see. For the first element, the only thing we have to check is if that is 0 or if the next element of that is 0. So anyway previous, we can consider to be 0. So this is the trick here. And even for the next element, we can consider... Uh, even for the last element, we can consider next to be automatically zero because there's no next. It doesn't exist, doesn't cause any hindrance. So we can just consider. So flower bed of size minus one, this will be the last element. So if that, uh, if I is equal to flower bed of size minus one, then we can anyway consider the next element for that to be zero. So basically, this should be my conditions. So if i is equal to, that means this is the condition. So if this is 0, then uh, I'll just write it properly. Yeah, so if this is 0, then next element will be 0. And similarly, this should be the condition. So let us check. I hope that this test case should pass. Yeah, so test case has passed. Let's check if all the test cases are passing. So one test case is not passing. So let's see what is the error. Output is true but false was expected. So count is greater than equal to n then return true. So basically count is returning 1 here and yeah so yeah this is error see we have counted but we have forgotten to make the element as one so basically this was error flower bed of i we have forgotten to make it one so we'll make it one now so now it becomes one so basically we have converted that element to flower so i think now it should be right yeah it's finished let's submit and see yeah, it's right. It's accepted. Thank you.